<laughs> Hi, everybody. How are you? Hello, everyone. Welcome. Hey, happy Saturday night and welcome back to Dustin and Michelle. Yes, we are so happy that you're here. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I hope, we all hope you had a great uh, Christmas and we're coming into the new year here. And what a great time to talk mm -hmm. about one of our favorite things to do right at this time of year. Is eat candy. Eat candy, right? <laughs> <laughs> Whether you got a ton of it for Christmas or you're out there buying it on sale, you know, 50%, 75%, whatever, we're getting good deals on Christmas candy. And that can be a good thing for us resellers, right? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> my gosh. I mean, we've had a little bit of luck, you know, um, trying these. Uh, after the holidays, grabbing that clearance stuff at, say, like Walmart. We, we've had a lot of luck with food, and it's been so funny. You go back if you haven't had a chance to watch what the Easter video, the Easter candy video. Yeah. yeah, that was a great one. Go back and check that one out. Um, that's when we first got the candy bug. Yeah, I know. Well, oh I gosh. did anyway. Well, yeah, no, we we were starting to, you know, uh, that was actually one of the first videos that we did together, actually, yeah. which was which was a lot of fun. Oh my gosh, um, back yeah. in the day. Oh my gosh, yeah, we did that retail arbitrage at Walmart, just like we did last night, actually. Um, we don't want to give too much away because that's going to be in our Tuesday edited video coming up here. <laughs> it's um, amazing what happens when you go into Walmart looking for dog treats and uh, <laughs> what, what else was it? Oh, we were looking for glue sticks. Yeah, you know, just a couple <laughs> simple things, but of we course. came out with $140 worth of candy. <laughs> <laughs> But it was all but, it was all good stuff, and you guys get to see all of it. So you're and you're gonna be like, oh my gosh! Yeah, guys. So check out, <laughs> check out this video on Tuesday. It's gonna yeah. be a lot of fun. And check out that video that we did on the <clears throat> Easter candy not too uh, um, last Easter, because we got a couple ex of examples here from that haul. Um, behind us, we have a big tub uh, full um, of stuff that hasn't sold yet, but we have quite a few things that have sold, like uh, two out of three of the lots of these. Thing. These are basically like circus peanuts, but uh, Easter style. So uh, two of these bags sold for uh, $22.99, free shipping. And uh, we would pick them up for like $1.50 a piece or something, maybe. Yes. Maybe like a dollar. Yes. So, um, you know, it, not every bit of candy that you're going to pick up is going to be good. Look for the pop culture stuff. Look for the stuff that's specific, obviously, yeah. to the holiday different shapes of like Reese's eggs, you know, Reese's pieces. Yeah, like these are those like peanut things, right? So those mm -hmm. peanut things, <clears throat> excuse me, end in different shapes. Yeah, things like that. <clears throat> um, those have sold really well. Now, of course, you know about peeps, of peeps. course. Right here, we got some cotton candy peeps. Uh, we also have some uh, party cake peeps. We uh, <laughs> picked up a bunch of these, you know, you'll, as you'll see in that uh, retail arbitrage video, uh, Easter candies. Now, these ones really haven't sold. There are different types of uh, peeps that have a great, like, you know, chocolate pudding peeps or something like that. You oh, know, yeah. you get the right ones and, you know, they're going to sell really, really well. Now, yes. um, one other thing. Um, I don't know, honey, if you I knew even... that these were in the inventory. No, I didn't know those were in inventory. A five pack. Until I sat down here like three <laughs> seconds ago. A five pack of Cadbury cream eggs here. We got a few of these. Uh, these are waiting to sell. I love them. Yeah, you know, people just love these all year. How many of those do you have left? There's, I'm not going to say, actually. Are there many you know, or not many? There's probably like three or four. Oh, so, really? So yeah. We... So maybe, you know, we'll take one. Out of inventory? I don't think that's not a good thing to do. We can't be getting can high get on our own supply now, honey. All right. All right. Well, now that I, I don't know if I'm able to sleep in this house with all this freaking candy in no, here yeah, now. I know. I know. No, you know, it we're is. not even halfway done. <laughs> but um, okay. So here is one other thing that we picked up on that Easter haul that was really cool. Here are some Kit Kats special edition. These are lemon crisp Kit Kats. Now, one of these sold, and I went to go look at these on uh, what we were selling these for in our store right now, and they weren't listed. So we actually have two bags of these that are not listed yeah. and you know that may actually be kind of a good thing right now because i went to go and see what they're actually selling for so let's check that out honey because <laughs> it may have been a good thing that uh we're actually uh going to list these now because check this out we have the limited edition lemon crisp Kit Kats, eight dollars plus eight dollars shipping uh, ten dollars plus eight dollars shipping we have uh look at all these sold listings here Wow. Three bags for 40 bucks. Yeah. Um, five bags for 
40 plus shipping. So uh -huh. pretty sweet here. I I like the, um, the sound of that. Cool. Uh, what I, I have to say that one of the things that I really love about when it comes to shopping for candy or special candy that you want to pick up for uh, your business is if you just look for a different kind of version of something that you always have, mm -hmm. right? So it's like you... Uh, May I use this one yeah, again? Okay. Exactly. So, um, you know, it's, here we go. It's Reese's Pieces, but they just happen to be in the tree shape, mm -hmm. right? And so as soon as you see like, oh, Reese's Pieces, tree shape. Oh, people love trees. Like, it's a classic. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, who doesn't love those? Yeah. And not only are these Christmas shaped trees that are only available during Christmas, but these are actually like maybe white chocolate. Yes. White chocolate. So that's two like different types of Reese's all in one thing. So we picked up like four bags of these, as many as we could, as many as were left, <laughs> something like that. And uh, we'll be listing these uh, really soon. And um, what else did we find recently that was not in the Walmart haul? Um, um, we found them at the Dollar Tree. Check this out. We have really right good here. luck at the Dollar Tree sometimes. Maybe we should go. We should do one at the Dollar Tree. Sure. Because yeah. we do pretty well there, especially with food. Once in a while, yeah, we'll find some some something we're selling with a good self mm, yeah. Usually, yeah. But here's some Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer gummy candies. Here's a whole box of them. There's uh, twelve total right here, and we saw that these were actually selling right now. So even if they're um, say say we uh, two dollars a box, three dollars yeah. a box, you know, they were on sale though, right? They Those were on were, sale. So, so they were like. 63 cents a box I yeah think. we basically got this whole package here for like seven dollars and we think we can you know turn this get at least 30 to 35 plus shipping um you know when it comes out of season somebody was like oh my gosh i just got a hankering for those rudolph candies a hankering <laughs> a hankering <laughs> the, <laughs> right the hankering. Oh, uh, a hankering a i reckon craving, i reckon i reckon i'm gonna so, have a hankering exactly <laughs> so wherever you're from and whatever you call a craving, um, this you're gonna start craving these uh, gummies here yeah. sometime. You're gonna have a hankering for them. Hankering for them. I love it. Yes. So um, when we get into uh, <laughs> some other things that have sold, let's uh, let's check out. Yeah. Um, how about some other uh, Easter candy that okay. sold? Okay. Now, this is actually recently, uh, no November 27th. You'll see here that these uh, Hershey's eggs here. Again, the name Hershey's, a little funky, a little different shape. That's yeah. kind of something you might want to check out. Just some candy-coated eggs here. Now, this mm -hmm. is a bag of three, mm -hmm. and they're only seven ounce. That's like not the large bag or anything like that so no, no. three small bags of hershey's eggs are going for 25 dollars plus shipping recently <sighs> here yes. um wow guys it's what that's wild it's it really is. really wild it is and here's another example of the peeps right here we got yep. chocolate pudding easter marshmallow candies there's two packages right there 25 dollars plus shipping now we got uh these packages of peeps here the you know the same like 10 count packages um for like i think of that like a dollar when they were on sale when they're yeah. on clearance or something yeah so that's not gonna that's gonna be the same exception with the chocolate pudding ones we just didn't get there in time to get the chocolate pudding ones now we know you now know we know, now right? we know the value <laughs> in in being an early bird the day after a holiday right, right and scooping up not just you know just food <laughs> candy <laughs> and it's so much fun to go through and scan all these it is and you right. can dig around and like when you're digging around like way in the back you'll see it and there it is you're like i see the i see the bunny <laughs> yay another one honey here a pair <laughs> right yep, yep and then we'll scan it it's got a good sell through it we'll we'll scoop it in the cart uh here is another uh example just some six slits everybody knows six slits these are just you know spring colors that's all and four of those bags are going for 30 bucks you know here's some spring colored m ms a 62 ounce that's kind of a big uh bucket there but still 30 dollars just in the spring stuff wow there. that one's a good one one to remember the um easter colored m ms mm. the pastel ones for sure yeah. definitely yeah we're seeing uh, you know a couple of those oh my gosh uh hello donna Ma! welcome thank you so much we're so glad you, you made figured it. it out yes. mom awesome, awesome. Hi. Happy and prosperous New Year, uh, New Year to you as, 
and Tony as well. Thank you so much for, for joining us tonight. We appreciate it. Tell Tony that we said hi. Absolutely. So, so what about these? Oh, we're moving forward. Okay. Oh, yeah. So we're going to go into, let's look at uh, to some, you know, Christmas things here. Um, so we're going to look at Christmas uh, chocolate candy. But first, um, let's, <laughs> let's check out like a couple of um, cereals that I actually picked up uh, last season that didn't sell. So, I mean, this might be an example of things that look really cool. You think they might be all right. You pick them up and they're just kind of like, oh, okay, well. Here we are. Yeah. You know, here's some Elf on the Shelf chocolate cereal. I mean, who doesn't want that? Who? And as a reseller, you see Elf on the Shelf and you probably want to pick it up, right? Right. You want to check it out at least. Yeah. Who yeah. doesn't want the cereal? But nobody wanted the cereal. Either that or we priced it too high. So what do we do now? Eat so it? So we might have to eat it. Okay. If it's going to to expire. Okay. You know, so. Well, I mean, if it's going to expire, we should definitely eat it. Yeah. I mean, it's just cereal. I mean, it's not going to go bad, really. But, you know, you know, that's one uh, important thing about, you know, selling food online is to um, also include the expiration date. Um, that is very, very important. And we know that um, that we actually are unable to sell. I was going to ask you about the restrictions. Like, how yeah. do you just you just okay, you're like, hey, here's some peeps and they're, you know, cucaracha flavored and we're going to stick them <laughs> up there. Right? right. Yeah. So, I mean, OK, so. Obviously, you got to be, you know, an honest person on eBay to to sell. So, you know, selling food, they're, they're going to allow it. And, you know, just be careful. Put those expiration dates in there. Take pictures of the nutrition label, all of the nutrition facts. So, you know, people are going to be informed of what they're buying. You know, people may have allergies or, or whatever. You don't want to be responsible for those things. Yeah. And you shouldn't be. But, you know, if you're going to be um, selling food, you know, just be careful. You know, do, make sure to do your due diligence on those few things. And uh, make sure to tell the best buy date, you know, and, and so let me ask you a question then. Yes. Just because something says it's expired, does that mean that people are not going to buy it? It depends on what it is. I think, you know, if it's a box of cereal, it might be a little stale. People don't mind that. They just want their favorite cereal. But, you know, if it's something that's perishable, you know, like some protein shakes or something like oh, that. Yeah. You know, you just use your discretion. You know, is, is something is a is, is salt going to go bad? No. Well, you, know like I mean? you didn't you sell some crazy thing that mm -hmm. was like was it like a piece of gum or something or oh, I don't know what gosh. it was. Yeah, something. we sold expired candy before. Yeah, you know, candy so is not going to really expire. It might go stale. Yeah. But. So the exp expiration date is something you should definitely make them aware of but it doesn't necessarily mean that it won't sell i mean look if it has gr green fuzzies on it and you've had it in your closet for 10 years no get rid of it exactly but you know <laughs> a year yeah. later it's like not that big of a deal right, is what right. i'm trying to say <laughs> yeah just be smart about it yeah and uh, unfortunately uh we are looking in the poshmark and mercari rule books and you just can't sell food on either either of those platforms unfortunately so you need to you know sell these on ebay or be approved in Amazon to be selling food. And the way to be um, ungated is the word uh, for Amazon is to put a large purchase order in, usually over $1,000 to a, uh, a, a reputable manufacturer. And uh, you send those receipts in Amazon saying, hey, look, we're buying Right. We're buying legit from things. you. And we know that these products you got legitimately as well. Yeah. yeah. So they're, they're going to trust you to sell any type of pantry food or anything like that on there, as well as, you know, like video games and stuff. So uh, that, that's the way to get uh, your stuff moving really yeah. fast. So, but yeah, yeah absolutely. So um, now also when we're uh, out there sourcing, you know, there's uh, all different types of holidays, all the different types of um, candies you can look for. But uh, let's check out some more of this Christmas stuff. Let's see here. So now we are looking at, once again. Oh, um, my goodness. We're searching for chocolate here because it's a little easier searchable than some, like, <laughs> you know, candy. So we're searching, searching for chocolate. So we're going to see a lot of, you know, Hershey's coming up. But they're going to be a lot of specialty stuff. Yeah, tons, tons, and tons of Hershey Kisses we saw, right? We did. We did all different kinds. Oh man, mm -hmm. we really had to sit there and like uh, look at every single. One. We did. There were like four or five different kisses, yeah. and only one of them looked promising. So those yeah. are the only ones we took. 
Now, um, this one right here, uh, candy cane flavored, just like a little uh, bulk bag, 30 ounces, you know, that's less than two pounds uh, for $20 plus 30 or 30 shipping. Wow. Okay. Seriously. Yeah. You know, and I, I would say, think on clearance, you wouldn't pay, pay any more than See, three, four dollars for those. Cr it's crazy. It's so crazy. Like I, I was like, See, and I'm, I know my mom's watching. See, mom, you would love this. And I know she has no time to do this kind of stuff yet, but go to Myers like right after Christmas and you can go and you can fill your, you know, your cart up with all <laughs> kinds of stuff and everybody's sleeping and you're like getting the <laughs> best candy. I don't know. That's like, I know you would just love it, mom. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot of fun. We have so much fun. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and uh, here's another bag of Hershey's Kisses. Holiday collection. These are just, uh, you know, differently, uh, differently wrapped. Uh -huh. Another thirty-one ounce bag um, for thirty-two ninety-nine. So keep your keep your um, eyes open for some kisses. Oh, here's <gasps> something you like, honey. little Debbie. Yeah, little Debbie I, Christmas cakes. Look oh, at that. I don't like those. You don't. No, they. Okay, I'm sorry, but they leave that like. That like film. Oh, I know what you mean. On top of your mouth, and you're like. Like, I know what you mean. Yeah. No, <laughs> but some people really love that. They do. And that's okay. Then that's why we have them for you. <laughs> yes, exactly. And look here, five boxes. Of More these. for you. <laughs> exactly. More for these people that want five boxes and they're going to spend $32 and plus shipping for them. So, hey, look at that. Good deal. We'll pick those up for like, you know, a dollar or something a box when they're on clearance. You know, five, six dollar investment will turn it into thirty two dollars within the you know next couple of months, hopefully. I have seen those little Debbie Christmas trees a million bazillion times. Oh, well, we gotta pick them up once they are okay. on clearance. All right. I guess. Yes. And here's some Oreo festive favorites here. You know, some wintry uh, branded Oreos. No, these are coming from Australia, so it's hard to tell the price on those, but oh wow. But Australian still. Oreos? I wonder mm. if they come with an accent. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> hardy hardy. <laughs> Oreo. <laughs> Oreo mate. <laughs> Oreo mate. <laughs> right. <laughs> that was pretty good. I don't know. I, I hope I didn't offend anybody. That was actually pretty good. <laughs> oh, thanks. All right. So. We're both we're both getting our glasses <laughs> fixed today, so we're a little bit like cranky. Yeah, right. Yeah, we we were gonna have new glasses soon though. I'm so happy. Yes, I'm so happy too. Um Harry here, Potter. Harry Potter Hershey uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Potter Hershey chocolate bars here, limited edition. Now this reminds me a little bit of something that we picked up yesterday. Not exactly, but <gasps> ours we're is not cooler. gonna say it. way cooler. I'm so way sorry, cooler. but wait till you see ours is so freaking awesome yeah so for um, real so these harry potter branded hershey chocolate bars uh, let's see i'm not sure it looks like what one two three twelve of them for 35 dollars plus shipping Woo! <laughs> oh my gosh i know wow. can you imagine i know this is so cool it is it's so, cool. so much fun guys and the thing is is half the time all you do is pick them up and chuck them in a poly mailer <laughs> right like even to ship them yeah it's I'm quite easy right yeah some right. of these you know these might break you know a couple well, of these might break but you know it's candy you know we're not gonna um bubble wrap these uh circus peanuts you know what i mean <laughs> so well yeah anyway yeah easy shipping is another great part of sourcing candy exactly easy shipping now say these cadbury cream eggs we might want to throw in a box we don't want those getting squished or we'll we'll hide them Okay. I'm just going to hide those. We're talking about that later. I see. Okay. We'll see. <laughs> Sounds good. I'm not um, joking. I know. I know you're not. Okay. So let's check out how about some um, Halloween candy that's been selling lately. Mm. Because, you know, that's a reality. That's the holiday that we just... The, I mean, yeah. that's the... Hol that That is the candy ho uh, holiday, you know, I mean, for the most part. It's and all East, about candy. Easter, too. Yeah. So, that as well. Absolutely. Yeah. So, and, you know, on Halloween, you're going to find different shaped Reese's uh, peanut butter cups, different uh, Reese, you know, jack o things, and, all yeah. that stuff. So find all that, you know, limited edition stuff, like right here. Okay, now, I've never even seen these. Fun size Feastables Halloween candy. Um, I've never heard of these, never seen them. But... Feastables. Yeah, exactly. And it's uh, 300 good... bars, three flavored assortment. 
Feastables sounds like a dog treat. I know, but it's not. I guess it's human candy. And they go, uh, <laughs> six bags go for uh, 28 plus 27 shipping. So wherever you can find those, um, grab find them. them. Yeah, find grab them. them. Feastables, rem remember that. <laughs> Feastables. Um, let's look down. Oh my gosh, honey, look at this. Brock's classic no, candy corn. your favorite thing. Fall, you know, nine bags of those things. I mean, we probably ate nine bags. We? Of those we, yeah. We. I mean, okay, fine, I eat some, but this one. No, these candy corns, we were chowing them down. Probably nine bags or so. And now, look at, we could have saved them, put them online, and gotten $30 plus $19 shipping. It's not worth it. <laughs> Eating them was so freaking, so I know, good. I know, but next year, now we know that this, okay. this holiday mix. So there's like three for us, six to sell. Okay, that's fair. Okay. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> that is fair. Okay, good. All right, so now we know that candy corns still sell. Um, for more than what you're going to pay for them. Wow. Great deal. Um, okay, guys. Uh, maybe we'll we'll take a look at one more thing here. We're going to look at, say, something from, uh, what do you call it? Valentine's Day. Oh, my gosh. That's almost around the corner here. Valentine's Day is a great time to look for special candies. Right. And here's yeah. another example. M&M's. Strawberry shake flavored only came around out around Valentine's Day. Yeah, and they're, the stuff's already out now, you guys. They've already gotten rid of the Christmas stuff, and they already are starting to fill it up with Valentine's Day. We saw it today when we were at Walmart. <laughs> I know, right? I can't. It's like, please, we have no more money for this. Sal. Can we breathe? I can't breathe from <laughs> I know. We, well, the Well, the Valentine's stuff isn't on sale yet. So, uh, no, but so but it's but it's there, so it you can there. keep your eyes on it if you want to. Yeah, we gotta we gotta scope out what we're gonna wanna stock up on later i think yeah. suss it out yep yep that's that's a good point <laughs> but you'll see that even now we got these uh valentine's day strawberry shake uh m&ms for 30 dollars for a four pack again a 7.4 ounce bag i think that's like a small bag right mm. um and then for those for 30 bucks um and it's, you're seeing here that there's 10, more than 10 available and 23 have sold for the seller here so, wow. yeah, so these are selling in bulk, you know, for this person that picked up a whole box of these, probably on clearance at Walmart to Walgreens or, you know, wherever they're selling Halloween, Halloween, Christmas candy or whatever and want to get rid of it. Mm, I know. It's so much fun. Guys. It is so much fun. <laughs> so, my gosh, guys, when you're out there after each holiday, whether you eat it or sell it. There's Christmas and, you know, all this holiday candy out there that's special edition and is going to yeah happy, happy your heart and, uh, and happier pocketbook. So many people love like really special things. They just love it. Maybe they love this one thing only that's we're talking about and they wait all year long. And mm -hmm. I mean, that's the beauty of, yeah. I guess, the Internet. You can get whatever you want pretty much whenever you want it. You better. Oh, gosh. Yeah, probably like the epitome of that, the Cadbury cream egg, you know. Once oh, a year. I love them. You know, people wait for them. But they do, they do, Hall they do Halloween ones now. I'm oh. seeing that. Yeah, they're almost ruining it. You know. Like... No. Well. Yeah. <laughs> no. 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 Okay, you're right. Yeah, they're they're oh, they're no. smart. They're being smart. You know. Well, they know people will buy. Cashing them. in on it. They're cashing in on it. Absolutely. Yeah. I would too. They're right. Hey, they're good. Know. I'll eat them. <laughs> I, I'll eat them. <laughs> right, me too. <laughs> we are so yes. glad and so grateful that you guys just decided to spend some time with us tonight talking about candy. Oh my gosh, who doesn't like candy? Who doesn't like candy? For the most part. Yeah. So we go. We we hope that when you are out there bopping around, keeping your eyes peeled, to go back in the back of the store and check out the clearance area because you never know what you're gonna find. Mm hmm. Especially candy. Mm -hmm. It's all <laughs> over the place. So do your due diligence. Uh, check that sell through rate. Find that good candy and bring home some profits. Woohoo! Yeah. We will look forward to seeing you guys right here next Saturday. Absolutely. And of course, Tuesday night. Tuesday night, Thursday night, we're putting out new videos. So stay tuned, guys. We got lots of good content coming up. And if you like what you see and you enjoy spending time with us, please like and subscribe. We would love your love. And again, thanks for spending time with us tonight. And we hope that you guys have a beautiful weekend. 
Yes. Thanks again, Donna and everybody. Bye, Mom. Bye, everybody. Thanks.